Hello everyone, my name is Isu Chen, and today I'll introduce you to my handmade King Kakuji model. Once upon a time, there was a waka poet named King Tsune, who was a nobleman in Japan. He was smart and handsome, he was talented and poetic, and he lived in a gorgeous villa with beautiful gardens and breathtaking views. The place was called Kitayama Dai. In the year 1397, the place was purchased by shogun Ashikaga Yoshimitsu. Yoshimitsu was a dominating ruler and a strong leader. The villa was then transformed into an elegant and magnificent complex named King Kakuji. Yoshimitsu maintained authority for almost 50 years, but he finally retired and died. He originally planned to cover the outside of King Kakuji with gold, but only managed to coal the ceiling of the third floor with gold before his death. According to his final wish, Yoshimitsu saw made the Golden Pavilion into a Zen temple. During the Onion War, the surrounding areas of King Kakuji were severely damaged, but the temple itself survived perfectly fine. In 1950, a 22-year-old monk named Hayashi Yoken burned down the temple with fire and attempted to commit suicide behind the building, but he failed. The present Golden Pavilion was then rebuilt in 1955. King Kakuji contains three different architect structures and styles that depict three levels of social status. At the bottom is the Shinden style. It depicts lifestyle of Japanese noblemen. In the middle is the Samurai style, which indicates Japanese warriors. Finally, on the top is the Zen Buddhism style. The rooftop ornament is the golden phonics. This ancient heritage has combined elements from nature, shrine, and Buddhism to form an impressive Japanese garden. Thanks for watching the tale of King Kakuji, and hope that this video helps you to learn more about the most iconic place in Kyoto and the history behind it.